kind of what we wanted to happen. Okay, so hello YouTube, uh, as as you know, the actual video segment, not just the the, the live stream segment. Uh, you might be confused as to what's going on right now. Well, uh, as far as I know, we need to be the Zeno could actually form Yugoslavia's Bulgaria, so I kind of had to restart the entire series. I've cut out the first few months so you don't have to watch it again. Uh, but here we are. Is that a coup? A plot to overthrow the constitutional government of Bulgaria has come into motion. Uh, crafted by four main leaders of the conspiracy, Kamen Girgov, Penchil Slatva, Damian Velchev, and Petro Sklanov. Uh, following the path of action, the Prime Minister has sent an order to call Subrana to in the full session, especially including the leaders of the Petrolka. All while army units have act activated across Sofia and established an unofficial order of martial law in the streets. When the day broke out, Gurgov and Zetov requested an audience with the Tsar and presented a pre-written royal decree with which, upon signing, put an end to several decades of Bulgarian democracy. No support came across the city or outside the country, and several politicians such as Nikola Moshev, Konstantin Moroyev, and Yanko Skakosov were designated by the conspirators. Under the pressure, Tsar Vernon I first decree, uh, signed the royal decree. Later that day, Petro Stanov proclaimed it to be a massive of uh, Sofia. The royal decree called for a of the constitution, removal of senior officers from the army, staff, and consolidation of several ministers' deployment of a new responsible government that will steal Bulgaria in the crises of today. Okay, so we're now the... We're now the total autocrats. Military is now in charge of the country. And, I mean, we'll see how it goes. Modify Prince of the People, political radicalization. But this should, if I'm not mistaken, um, allow us to form Yugoslavia. Fingers crossed. Ambition of the Zreni. In the past few days, the last remnants of the old parliamentary system have been swept away. The Zreni has been dissolved in absolute power, was concentrated in a small circle of civilian and military members of the Zveno. Their plans for long and ambitions are great. Veno does not see itself as yet another tribe. Tin pot military clique or, or as a mere national populist dictatorship. The reformist goals are, if they are to be believed, of a unique Bulgarian direction. The ivory tower of Sofia, as Veno envisions a thorough transformation of Bulgarian society, bring a nation into a clockwork machine. A rational tradition will be uprooted, pointless uh, distraction will be cleansed, little cracks and refraction will be swept away, and a nation as efficient as an assembly line will be built. Already, however, tiny risks are starting to form within the political circle. The faction is Vano, currently in charge, led by Kimog, Gorgave, and Damien. Uh, Vouchev see their ideology as a means to assume control, complete control of the state, or taking even the Tsar himself. But they see the relic of an outdated past and establishing a republic. This falls in a direct opposition to the conservative wing of the circle, led by Penchel Slatov, who is primarily composed of civilian politicians and outsider generals recruited to ensure the uh, success of the conspiracy. Their ambitions are nowhere near as totalitarian, and the Tsar still figures in their calculations. One final factor is to consider the Union of Bulgarian National Legions, tentatively aligned with Zeno in promoting their cause of political centralization in the civilian economy, or society, sometimes with rather violent means. Though they are no threat right now, a great class of public, public legitimacy could lead to something worrying. Can I die if you fail Yugoslavia this time? I will die too. Any more Victoria 2 content? Uh, eventually, yes. I'm not too sure exactly when. Um... I'm not going to wait till 3. There'll definitely be more Victoria 2 stuff coming before then. Like, I'm trying to think, because we, we're, we're doing the grand campaign right now. Um, I'm not too sure if that's going to be Victoria 2 or Victoria 3. It really depends on when Victoria 3 comes out. Uh, especially for like, the ramp camp. Um, but there will be more Victoria 2 at some point. I just don't know when. And honestly, I'm not even too sure. I don't, I don't even know what, what campaign in Victoria 2 I would do. I don't know if I would just do, like, another HFM playthrough, or if I would maybe play a mod. That I wanted to play another mod in The Virgin of Darkness. Um, and I think there's what? what like, I think there's, like, um, Napoleon's Legacy, but I don't know if that ever was updated for the newest uh, patch. By newest patch, I mean, like, 3.04, which is, like, or three years ago at this point. But you know what I mean. Also, I probably should assign some leaders to these uh, military units now. There you go. Seems good to me. And again, if you are watching this, uh, please, please note that we are, we're not going to cheat to kill Serbia. But, um, we're, we're going to delete the entire army because we've already killed them once before. And I'm not going to worry about killing them a second time. Okay. 
Uh, I know our manpower is quite low. Can worry about that in the future. GFM is really good for Fedori too. I don't think I played GFM. Oh, let's add three more units to Bulgaria here. HFM Spain is my favorite series of uh, mine that you did. Thank you. I, I don't quite remember it. Um, all I remember is that we uh, formed, I think, all the Vice Realities, if I remember correctly. But after that, I don't really remember too much. I remember, I remember it being a good playthrough. Off straight transfer tool. We probably don't need that on right now. Uh, trade. We could get some more steel from the United States. Okay, we got the banking act that should help slow down uh, Black Monday. Let's. I mean, again, the powder keg doesn't really matter because, again, we're not cheating. We only lost like twenty thousand men in the last war. So I mean, we won. So easily. I, I just don't even think it's worth... Uh... We'll put troops on these borders anyways. I guess I should also make sure that... Uh... We got the, the Treaty of Constantinople. Because we don't want to fight the Ottomans. The Ottomans... We don't want to fight the Ottomans. Because that, that, that'd be too much of a, uh, a deviation from the last playthrough. It'll be done in four more days. After this, we do the uh, mission to Constantinople. It's a 50 day, four day focus, even though I think it finishes rather quickly, as long as you just kind of agree to everything uh, the Ottomans asked for. Okay. Negotiations are beginning. And again, we're going to kind of disagree to everything they want. Just because it makes my life easier. Okay, getting Turks. Have them do whatever the hell they want. I'm hoping... Yep. If, if, if we aren't able to form Yugoslavia, uh, I'm, we're just going to end the stream. <laughs> over. just It's just over at that point. I'm gonna political power. I guess we can maybe go up to... Ex ah, we can't go up to extensive right now. Yeah, we just do... We do not want to ask for German support. Uh, otherwise, uh, you basically can't form Yugoslavia. I don't know why they add all these... um All these options. Like, like you, there's no way you could possibly know if you want to form Yugoslavia that you can't accept German help. I think at least. Actually, it does say here. You know what? That that effect bonus was not in. This did not show up in our last campaign. So. Also, oh, Serbia is actually gone socialist. I didn't. I, how did I not know Serbia could go socialist? Interesting. Okay. We got the National Populist, the Liberals, and the Communist all working together to fight us. <laughs> really, every side of the political aisle right now hates us. <laughs> hey, it's been joined the Reich's Pact as well. So apparently, like, these guys still got the same, um, I mean, Mongolia survived, Sweden joined the Reich's Pact. Somehow they all got the memo that they were supposed to, um, do the same things as what happened last time. Well, that was nice of them. I guess we're also not technically the communist or just the socialist. Doesn't really matter. Um, we'll see how it comes only seem possible complete accident. Well, I mean, having something happen by complete accident twice, that just means I'm lucky or unlucky. Okay, we've got three more units. Deploy them to whatever front. It really does again, it doesn't really matter due to the way we're uh put up participate in this war. Mobilize in a nation. After that, you will uh, probably attack us, would be my guess. 
Jack Reed's been elected as president of the United States, and we're now having another uh, four-way civil war. Still seems fine by us. And again, other than that, like, we really haven't had that much variation. Uh, you're a little too expensive. We're gonna go for Land Doctrine. But we do have focuses to make Land Doctrine cheaper, so it's probably not actually worthwhile. Go for the 36 Artillery Upgrade, though. I see no reason not to do that. Also, my basic units. Do you have Artillery Support? You don't. You actually have enough Artillery for this. Excellent. More artillery in there. Can I add extra infantry? If I delete these guys, I can. Now they're uh, full uh, 20 combat with. So my army's actually stronger than they were last time. And I don't think these guys have more units. Maybe maybe some of them do. It's not, it's not a big deal. Now they're preparing war against us. Let's make our way... Ah, two times... Actually, that's two times 100% bonus for land auction. It's pretty good. The thing will definitely take that. Second uprising. Basically giving them a, uh, a very good uh, cost of belly against us. They're done EU4 campaign. Actually, I have many EU4 campaigns. My, I think my longest running series of all time was an EU4 campaign. I don't remember. I don't remember exactly which one it was, but okay, and basically we're gonna do what we did all before, which is delete Greece, delete Romania, and delete Serbia, which is up here somewhere. Next leader of generals. I'm gonna march into these territories. So even if I click this, it doesn't actually tell you not to accept uh, the help. Also, I deleted the Romanian army a little bit too early. That's okay. I did not unite the socialists, the populists, and the liberals. It just that's just it's just Balkan politics, my man. So we're going to have to. Oh, this, they don't seem like they want to actually join the war. But again, it's fine how this is going. Is it cheat? Again, it's not cheating. Go back to like. Two episodes ago at this point on the YouTube series, and you'll see that we've already fought them. Or go back like 45 minutes in the stream. We've already fought them, so if you're just showing up now to the stream, it's not cheating, we've done this before. But if we do fail. Okay, there we go. We shall seek a new Yugoslav direction. Then knows Yugoslavism. Yugoslav movement, seeking to unify all southern Slavs under one nation, has gone through several incarcerations, be it the Illyrian movement or the limited Yugoslav irresistism championed by Serbia. Certain defeat in the Vild Creek put a role as a uh, ponument of the southern Slavs into question. However, all the new great powers across the Balkans, the Bulgarian Tsardom, the only independent and powerful southern Slavic nation left in Europe. Bulgaria was traditionally left out of Yugoslavian nation plans owing to their cultural distance from other southern Slavs. The Bulgarians themselves were not dying to surrender to the great southern Slavic identity either. The national identity was already solid enough without it. However, there were politicians and philosophers such as Alexander Strombolsky and Ivan Mestrovsky, including Bulgaria, into the question. Activist officers composing Zvino hold some affinity towards the concept as well, although in less selfish, selfless light. Iman Gregov, Demir uh, Vilchev, and their peers see Yugoslavism as a step towards a truly greater Bulgaria. By embracing Yugoslavism, uh, it shall be able to paint its assimilation tendencies into the Western provinces as merely seeking Yugoslav unity. They even use a banner to rally under the challenge of Austrian hem uh, <laughs> hegemony. We're going to hijack Yugoslavism. We'd love to see. We'll liberate Romania. So do we become Yugoslavia? No. I think I think like the one guy said on on Reddit, which you guys weren't able to show you because I didn't show you the screen. But we just... I think we need to kill Romania now. We have now hijacked Yugoslavism. I think surprisingly doesn't bypass this. No monster naked identity and, and endorse remaining claims on you. Attack the Austrian Empire and form Yugoslavia. Yeah, I think we can do that. 
move our troops up to the Austrian border. The question is, how are we going to attack you? It'd be easier if Romania, or not Romania, if Austria and Hungary were to go to war with one another, then that would make my life easier for sure. It will liberate Greece as a republic. But Bulgaria and Yugoslavia is now being born. Slowly but surely. Uh, let's go to extend the conscription. Ignore all of this. Military factories, let's go one more on rifle production for now. And I would say this is looking pretty good. We know what you're doing. We don't know, because this I don't think this happened yet. I don't know, remember exactly when it happens. Turn Greek lands, absolutely not. Reese, you really thought you can get any territory? You fool. Or we join the international again. This looks like the exact same thing that happened last time. Get a bunch of claims. In fact, during Yugoslavism, or national liberation. All for the final struggle. We get bonus against Illyria, Hungary. That's actually pretty good. Romania gets free units. Post by Montenegro. We can integrate them. Uh, winning hegemony. We can integrate more territory. You know, let, let's do this. Let's at least get our... Ah, do we want our claims right away? Probably not. Let's go for all for the final struggle. Give us our attack and defense bonuses against Austria. Again, what would be the best case situation is if we can, um... Just invade Hungary and... Hungary basically rise up against Austria. That'd be the best case scenario. Is it going to happen? Maybe. Maybe. We'll have to wait and see, though. We'll have to wait and see. I don't even know what the hell this is, but we're going to get a claim there. Thank you. But yeah. I mean, it took like three different attempts to make this work, but we made it work in the end. And if I could like sacrifice some manpower. I said, can't I do that? Manpower. That's not what I wanted. That's not at all what I wanted. Negative. That's only a million. Okay, now I think we gotta... Let, let's just drop it down to 300,000. No. We're at two... Let's drop it 290,000. So I think that would be roughly the amount of casualties we took in the war. So I think it... I think that seems fair. I think I took about... I took as many men off of my manpower... As I would have lost during the war. So it's kind of as even as I could make it. That's at least my uh, my interpretation of events. I, I'm a harsh, but I'm fair. I see that. Can you be harsh and fair at the same time? I don't know. It's I can be tough and fair. I guess that, that makes a little bit more sense. Can I not draw these borders over you as well? Surprisingly not, even though you are a puppet of... Austria as well. Claims on you. We get a couple of free units. Focus on you. Clashes across Moravia. Two months ago, our forces defeated the Bulgarian pack and put an end to the resistance under our hegemony once and for all. And yet, any hope of this would permanently uh, stabilize the Western out Outlands has proven to be premature. News of reports of reaching us from territories of the former Serbian Republic. Speaking of developing resistance in the hills and mountains of the region, unwilling to accept Bulgarian occupation, veterans of the Fourth Balkan War, joined with armed peasants frustrated with military reprisals and food uh, requisitions, taking to the countryside. They are much like their fathers and grandfathers who fought against the Ottoman rule. They start a new life as guerrillas or ducks. The growing Serbian resistance movement is part of the Serbian Chetnik organization, which operates on Ottoman soil before the Balkan Wars, has been registered by Bulgarian forces operating in the West, and reinforcements have been requested immediately. Huron and military militaries have mobilized and martial law has been established in the Valdar region. The situation not put under control immediately it may lead to a long guerrilla war of resistance. Well, I mean, 
If you look at resistance. It's a little high, but it's resting points only 20. Honestly, not that bad. Honestly, not that bad. Or shoot, that's another word for tough. I... Kind of. I, I think they can have different connotations. Okay, so Russia's got national populist. Give me more recruited population. But I would say we're looking pretty good. Albania, I wonder if Alexi end up joining the Austrians. I'm hoping not. That would be disappointing. How many men can we deploy now? The theory cap used to be 29. If it's any higher than that, I would like to get more units deployed. Oh, 53. That's, that's, that's significantly better. Do I have enough weapons for that? I have 9,000 guns. Okay, let's go with, I guess, 10 divisions for right now. Deploy them around Sofia. Got a standoff in America. Okay, so now we can actually finally look and see what the new American Union state flag is. Is that not the is that not the old flag? Am I Is that not the old flag? Am I crazy? Maybe I'm, maybe I'm crazy. Also, I have no manpower. That's fine. We're going to get another point five from whatever that military staff dude I just hired will do. Uh, I think we will need more guns. But one more on you. After that, I probably want more aircraft. That's just the OG flag lull. Is this, is this, call, is this being trolled? Am I being trolled right now? Is, that, is this what the kids call getting punked? <laughs> yeah, let's get let's some basic tanks over here. It's the old flag. I feel like I've I feel like I've been punked. Okay, we got three Romanian volunteers. Let's I guess we'll send them up to this border here. At least for right now. Romania's already got three units deployed. Greece hasn't deployed anybody. Okay, let's get some claims on you. We're not going to go to war with Austria right away. Again, I would like to see if... If you guys will go to war with each other. I want to see if, if Hungary rises up. That's going to make my life the easiest it can be. Washington's already fallen. Incredible. Ministry of the Economy. I mean, it would be nice to get these things here done. Get trolled, mister. God damn it. God damn it. I, 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 I would expect... I wouldn't expect this from my own audience. That, that's, that's what hurts me the most. That my my beloved audience, why who, who I care with all my heart, would do this to me. Unthinkable. No, I don't have manpower for uh <laughs> just to garrison all of Serbia. Um Hawaii join the Rags pack, that's fine. I mean, how many troops do you guys have? 9 to 30, 5 to 39. I mean, it's, it's really not that many. Brony. I'm trying to see, like, how far back is my stream? May 1st. I actually don't know how, uh... How delayed the stream is. I Someone did say there was a new flag. That's the problem. Somebody did say there was a new flag. And yet... 
hack the Austrian Empire. We could do it. So there's another country. They're one of the Austrians. And we can do this afterward. We'll worry about that afterwards. Again, I want to see if... With Austria... Oh, they're doing status quo. That's bad. The reason the reason status quo is bad... It, I, it's not the worst. But status quo basically means that they're not going to have a war against each other. Which is directly against my interest. But I don't know if I have enough troops to outnumber them. Actually, what I could do... Here, here's what my idea. I don't need to call Romania into this war. Romania doesn't need to get involved, right? But the, but the, yeah. So Romania doesn't actually need to get involved in this war. The Austrian AI will still station troops on the Romanian border, and even though the AI has the option to declare war on Romania because they're a puppet of mine, as far as I know, the AI never takes a decision to attack. So, we actually, I, I think, are looking pretty good. We're going to save just in case. For obvious reasons. But I, I think just a quick war into, into Austria makes sense. 